Hi everyone, I am Shantanu Tomar and welcome back to my YouTube channel Pixar Art. In today's video, we are going to draw Shin Chan. For drawing the Shin Chan, we have to draw an egg like shape here. We will try to create uh, the shape of his head inside this egg-like structure. And after that we will create his both eyes and uh, uh, try to remember that in this figure his eyes are not in a straight line. They are on a slant angle. So we will draw them on an angle one eye and then another eye is just a little below the first eye then we will draw his eyebrows he has very thick eyebrows we will draw them after completing this we will start drawing his lower body For his lower body, we will try to create a rectangle here, but uh, one side of the rectangle should be a little curve and the another side should be a straight line. Okay, and then after that we will create his legs. For his legs, we will also uh, do the same. We will create a, a straight line. For the other side of his feet, we will not create a parallel line. We will create a angular line we will create a line on some angle here so that we can create a shape which is uh, narrow from one side and wide from another side and same will goes for his hand as well For his boots, we will create a, a little curved line and then we will create a straight line. And then we will create a line on some angle here and his boot is finished. Yeah, very little boots actually. His uh, structure is like uh, he have big head and uh, little arms and legs.
okay this sketch is finished now now what we will do we will do the same process as we already done in our last videos we will first ink his whole body his whole sketch we will first ink it we will create a dark lines and then we will start filling the colors in it so for inking process i will skip this process as it take lots of time for digital drawings but if you are not doing it digitally it will not take that much time you just have to take a, a black pen or a marker and then dark the lines all the line of the sketch and for colors always remember uh, to follow the same rule first uh, color the outer lines and then fill the colors inside those lines it will help you not to spill the colors Okay, this was it for today's video. Hope you like this process and if you like this video, please hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys and see you in my next video. Bye everyone.